Welcome back everybody. It's been uh, a little while since we've been chasing deer, but I've got my brother home on Christmas uh, leave and he's got his Thompson Center muzzleloader and uh, we're up here at the gas hole piece overlooking the corn in Nebraska. Last time I was in here was I think like the last day of rifle season, I believe, which it's been quite a while ago. There's a few different bucks that we know are still up here and have been out here in the food plot on a pretty much nightly basis. And uh, Monty would let one have it if, if one of them make a mistake and come out here tonight. It's kind of sunny and uh, a little bit warm. It's like 32 degrees out, so it's not, this isn't perfect food plot hunting weather, but uh, either way, we're, we're up here hunting. Uh, we should get some really good muzzleloader hunting in uh, after Christmas. So this is the first year New York has done this. Uh, it's what do they call it? A holiday, yeah, holiday hunt, holiday hunt, which is, uh, really cool for people like in Monty's situation that doesn't get time off, uh, to hunt. Obviously he gets time off every year for Christmas as do a lot of other people that are either in the military or traveling, uh, for work. So it gives people an opportunity that normally don't have the opportunity to be able to hunt when they come home for vacation. So uh, it's awesome in that sense. It's great for the type of hunting that we do, you know, especially over these food plots. That time of year, you know, with a good amount of snow, we can pull about every deer out of these woods into these food plots during daylight. So we're crossing our fingers that we get some snow after Christmas and uh, we can get some good hunting in up here. Do you have anything to say, Monty? No, it's my opening day, so. <laughs> it's the last, <laughs> the very last day of muzzleloader season, and it's his opening day. I got those opening day jitters. Everybody's talking about these bucks all being dead, but it's opening day to me, so. Yep. Cliff sighted in my uh, muzzleloader, too, so if I do happen <laughs> to miss, then. Uh, it's not my fault, right? We're going to blame it right on Cliff. It's right on the money. I had a few questions uh, on my bear video about. Uh, people questioning why the bear wasn't hibernating. The bears I've come to find in our area don't really truly hibernate during the winter. You know, they do sleep for a few weeks at a time during cold weather, but as soon as it hits, you know, 35, 40 degrees, those bears are up and foraging around. So they don't truly hibernate all winter in our area. And of course we've had some really warm weather during muzzleloader season. So the bears have been up and, uh, you know, if wherever they're standing corn right now, and there's bears in the area, they're gonna be in that corn. So you can kind of track them down that way. Uh, there was another question that I was gonna answer, but now I can't think of what it was. So we'll see what comes out tonight. We got some uh, elk, elk jerky in from Arizona. And we have some elk steaks at the house. So we're gonna give those a try tonight. Let's see how those are. Cheeks are full of corn kernels, it looks like. Hmm. Pretty good place to live for chipmunk and eat some corn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see a corn cob under the stalk there he's been chewing on. Well, we finally have our first deer out in the food plot. It's 5.02. Been a pretty slow night otherwise. They should start pouring out now though. It's about that time. Seems like uh... no, 
It's a button book. That's a big doe in the front. Yeah, you can tell much bigger than the other two she is. Yeah. They're watching that deer in the plot. Looking behind him still. Yeah, You see him pretty clear. Oh, yeah. Yep. Still got time. Well, I think that's going to wrap up our hunt here. We ended up seeing four doe. Look like a mom and two fawns and then a button buck. Pretty slow night for the last night of muzzleloader season, but we just don't have the weather we need for these food plots to really perform. Hoping during the holiday hunt that we do get some snow and Monty will have a little more success up here, so we'll see you then. You have anything to say, Monty, for your, your opening day? <laughs> Like you said it would be. <laughs> you stayed it's warm. It's all good though. Hey, we're hunting. Yep. I'm happy to be here. You happy bet. to spend some time in the stand. That's for sure.